number of years ago, a gentleman wrote a book, Controversy Creates Cash. And for the most part, that's true. Controversy does create cash because it, um, it, it, en it engages people to see exactly what the controversy is. What's the controversy about? And in some cases, people spend money to see what the controversy is, what it entails. What's the outcome? Well, in this case, I don't think that's going to happen. Uh, you see, Disney has a live action remake of Snow White coming to theaters in March of 2025. Remember, this movie was actually supposed to come out this year. But due to some controversy created by its star, Rachel Zegler, um, yeah, Disney had to do a number of reshoots, push the movie release date back. And a teaser trailer was just released in conjunction with D23. Well, that trailer, since its release four days ago, I mean, this is even worse than when I posted my video uh, just this past Sunday with the teaser trailer where the ratio was oof. But now the ratio is big. Oof. In fact, if you look right now over on YouTube, it's 65,000 likes to 474,000 dislikes with 6.3 million views. This movie's not going to make any money. The controversy surrounding the movie is not going to create cash for Disney. But what I'm here to talk about is the star Rachel Zegler. See, she's got a history of saying some crazy things like um, the prince in the story of Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs is a stalker. And he was weird, weird. And that Snow White, they have redone the story. It's no longer a love story. It's about Snow White finding her inner strength, being, being the girl boss she, know, she knew she could be. Well, now Rachel Zegler's come out and, um, well, let's just throw it out here. So she put out this post over on X. I love you all so much. Thank you for the love and for the 120 million views on our trailer in just 24 hours. What a whirlwind. I'm in the thick of rehearsals for Romeo and Juliet, so I'm going to get out of here. Bye for now. Nothing wrong with that post. Nothing wrong with that post at all. It's what she said afterwards. And always remember, free Palestine. She should have stopped that. Bye for now. You see, there's an individual that got into a little bit of hot water with Disney. In fact, she lost her job with Disney because she made a political post on a social media platform. And here you have, again, an individual making a political post on a social media platform that just happens to be in a Disney project. So, Jay, drunk 3PO, saw this and put out there, hey, Rachel Zegler, big fan, just a question. You post some things that some might say are politically controversial. Are you worried that Disney might fire you and remove you from all future projects for your stance because they did the same thing to Gina Carano? Or are they okay with these kinds of posts? Hashtag my Snow White. And that's just it. They're not going to dismiss Rachel Zegler because I'm sure her political leanings align with those in the leadership at Disney. I mean, that's just speculation on my part. But I'm willing to bet I'm pretty accurate in that statement. Uh, this article here from the Express Tribune, Rachel Zegler's Free Palestine call sparks backlash amidst Snow White promotion. Zegler's statement has ignited heated debate online with some accusing her of being anti-Israel and insensitive toward Gal Gadot. 
Remember Gal Gadot, who's her co-star in Snow White? She's Israeli. Ouch. In fact, Gal Gadot served in the Israeli military. Double ouch. This incident adds to the growing controversy surrounding the Snow White remake, which has already faced criticism for Zegler's past remarks about the original film and her recent demands for higher streaming residuals. Meanwhile, Gado herself has been subject to anti-Semitic attacks since the trailer's release, with pro-Palestinian commentators criticizing her casting and calling for a boycott due to his, her Israeli background. I want to talk about awkward. This controversy underscores the challenges faced by Hollywood navigating system political issues, especially in an increasingly polarized climate. It, it also highlights the potential pitfalls of social media activism, where well-intentioned statements can easily be misinterpreted or weaponized. As the film's release date approaches, Disney will likely face increased pressure to address the controversy surrounding Ziggler's comments. Whether this will impact the film's reception or Ziggler's future with the studio remains to be seen. Well, needless to say, Rachel got roasted. Um, first one out of the gate here. It's hard to suspend disbelief enough to imagine a universe where Gal Gadot is jealous of Rachel Zegler's looks. Those 120 million views are for Gal. Your paychecks will reflect that difference, darling. Of course, this person here supports Rachel. We love you, and you'll do amazing for Romeo and Juliet. Heart emoji. Always remember, Palestine was freed 76 years ago. Can't wait to see Gal Gadot. You, not so much. You're a DEI hire. Can't act for shit. And you, in your prime, are still not a quarter as gorgeous as Gal Gadot in her 40s, plus four children. They're not laughing at you, they're laughing with you. Or they're not laughing with you, they're laughing at you. So you're going to ruin another movie too, huh? Remember, she ruined West Side Story. Remember the remake of West Side Story? I don't think anybody remembers the remake of West Side Story. Remember the original. So glad you tanked the box office at Bob Iger. How easy was it to lose 50% of your fan base? Just curious. So if, and this is my guess here, if we have people that are going to um, boycott Snow White because of Gal Gadot being in the movie, and you have people that are not happy with Rachel Zegler and her comments who are probably going to boycott Snow White. This movie's not going to make any... I mean, this movie had an uphill climb to make money to begin with, but this movie's not going to make any money for Disney. And this is the... And, and, and what's inconceivable is this is the movie, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, the animated movie from 1937, is the movie that kick-started Disney. And now we have this live action movie that is going to be boycotted by pro-Palestinian people, by pro-Israeli people, people that don't like Rachel Zegler. This movie doesn't have a chance in hell of making any money at the box office. So there you go. Rachel Zegler opens her mouth, inserts foot again. So what do you guys think about this? Comment in the comment section down below. While you're at it, please take the time to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel. Doing those three things helps get my videos promoted on YouTube, helps out the channel greatly. Um, if you're new here, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for watching. If you're a returning viewer, thank you for stopping by and, and watching. Appreciate everybody that takes the time out of their day to watch my content. Uh, hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video. Share this video out there with your friends and family. And with that, I will see you guys in the next one.